What's going on, everybody? This is Professor Crypto Banana. So, ohm forks seem to be the rage these days, right? Take a look at Avalanche. We got ourselves Time, Snowbank, Snowdog. The list goes on and on. Take a look at Phantom. We got Hector, Spartacus, etc. I just watched a video, though, by Alpha Only, and he talks about the utility that Spartacus, which is an ohm fork on Phantom, is looking to bring to the ecosystem. I'm like, whoa, really caught my attention. Essentially, I'm a big fan of DeFi 2.0, Daniele Projects, Abracadabra Money. However, I don't feel like it's doing that much on the phantom side as of yet kind of neglected it's not hey not throwing shade like dude they are developing they're doing a lot of great stuff different chains i understand however spartacus if they bring in that utility and and add on i'm like whoa that's really cool so in this video i'm actually going to do more of a proposal to the community and to the devs. Now granted, I haven't researched, I don't know even that much about the devs, I can't speak about the project, etc. I just saw the video, I got hyped, here's my proposal. So I made a Venn diagram showing like ohm, so I assume that the project's doing really well on that, figuring that out and the utility that it brings. Cool. Uh, Abracadabra money, uh, I got different names and ideas on how to utilize that and especially how to connect that to Phantom. Because Phantom, hey, we got the community. I saw a tweet that mentioned, like, yo, you got to get in with the theme. How can we you know, make that work? So if we can combine all three together, we can have a section called This is Sparta. And I think that would be really cool, right? So I'll be going over that. But before we get started, I'm going to hit you with that disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. Everything in this video is not financial advice. I'm not a crypto expert either. I just really am just enjoying the journey. I'm learning, sharing what I know with you guys. Uh, keep in mind, crypto is risky. And always, always, always do your own research. So uh, take a look at Spartacus. Look at all these other projects. Double check even my understanding of basic crypto stuff. So there we go. But either ways, uh, yeah, DeFi 2.0, Abracadabra Money, big... Uh, I've done other videos about it. Daniele is doing a lot of development on different chains. Absolutely love it. Uh, changing with interest-bearing tokens, being able to borrow against it. Love it. However, on the Phantom side, I'm feeling a little neglected. I'm going to just say it. It's like a big family. And I'm like one of the kids that's kind of like on, on my own. That's how I feel. Because I can only borrow against what? Phantom on Abracadabra Money. We'll take a look at that. But uh, what what if I'm holding Rap Memo? I want to borrow against it. I want to leverage up. I want to do something else. I, the, the options aren't really there. So with Spartacus being an own fork and bringing that utility over to the Phantom side, I'm like, Psh, that is awesome. So let's go over some links before I get into the specific details, right? So this is the price action. Uh, I think probably after the video by Alpha Only and some of the tweets probably did a nice little jump there up to, I don't know, like 25% at the time of recording. Uh, you know, still not at the all-time highs, but very, very interesting stuff. And this is the video that I'm talking about from Alpha Only, and he mentions the tweet and his, you know, definitely check out that video. It goes into more depth. I really like it. So credit goes out to him. Uh, talks about Spartacus could be doing an airdrop, or they are doing an airdrop, which we'll be looking at that tweet. And what else? Yes, being able to do the same utility on Abracadabra Money on the Phantom side, all cool stuff. So take a look at this video. So when you look at Abracadabra Money, this is how it looks on the Phantom side. So you know, I mentioned kind of feeling left out here. So you can click on the Borrow tab, boom. So I could, let's say, get some Phantom and borrow against it. But that's all I can do right now. However, if I were to switch chains and go over to the Avalanche side, ba boo, ba da boo, hey, move. Yeah, see, you got rep memo options here. You got a little bit more. Got Joe, which is the decentralized exchange where you can get the tokens and, and borrow against it. And you got MIMS to borrow against it. Can't do it with rap memo, but this is with like with time, etc. So ah, this is good stuff. And don't don't get me started when you look at Ethereum. Oh my goodness. That list goes on and on, but the gas fees can can really eat at you, right? Hey, let me just reposition myself. Wow, I like that corner. So take a look, all the options. You even got like Degen Box, which you can do with uh, Luna over here. Got all, like, tch. man, look at those options. Look at all those chickens. All right, if you know, you know. Anyways, so I feel a little neglected. So if Spartacus can do this on the Phantom side, heck yeah. Heck yeah, this is what I think we've been needing. Uh, just even trying to get the rap memo. Well, the liquidity for rap memo, really good. Uh, in terms of nice and uh, S spell, that seems to be lacking in my opinion. It could be a little bit better. 
seems to be improving. I think Spirit Swap allows it where you can trade the spell for S spell. I don't, about, I don't know about nice right now at the moment, so again, just double check, double check, look at the raids, all that good stuff. Okay, so why, why am I kind of like talking about it? Well, I thought our own forks are you know, Ponzi, Fair Ponzi, all that good stuff, but some of it seems to be sustainable, and it's catching attention such as uh, Phantom Community Alerts, and he's doing his research, looking at it, learning about it. Okay, and even look at the comments section. See, people are saying like, "Hey, yo, I like Spa, you know, for Spartacus, uh, you know, time, etc." Uh, also, Exodia Finance. So that's another one that I missed. Don't at me <laughs> if I miss something, All right? So you know, with different people picking up on it and it being sustainable, I'm like, could be something here, right? Especially with uh, Bitcoin now starting to bump up. Green Pill. He gives great explanations on how to actually get the tokens, and he he seems to have done a thread about it. Um, he has done a lot of threads about these own forks, so it's not as if this is like his special one. But uh, take a look at his thread right here, if in case you're curious on how to get in on this on the Phantom side. Great resource. Why should I reinvent the wheel? Popstar. I mentioned him in previous videos. He even took a look at Spot. I don't know what his opinion is at the moment. However, maybe take a look at his Twitter page to get the most recent update as to what his opinions are. Uh, so taking a look at the thread, so alpha only, he discussed some some of the alpha that's going on with this and mentioned this specific tweet that went out from Spartacus talking about how they're going to come out with Sparta Cadabra and the cool parts about that. And also that they're going to be probably doing an airdrop with their charm token or whatever it may be. Uh, but Sam Goodwin over here, I know it's his, his comment, saying the only thing that he doesn't like about the project is their branding. And this is where my proposal is going to be, like more focused at that. Uh, so got aligned more with the Phantom theme. Dude, totally agree. Great point. So, But here's that tweet talking about the airdrop. Again, alpha only talks about it. Boom. Uh, yield farming rewards with charm. Uh, I don't know if I'm necessarily a fan of charm and XUSD. I think they're talking about different names. So that is where I'm going to be talking. <laughs> so in case you're curious, Avalanche has been on a complete tear. Man, look at that thing go. Seven days, 50% while Bitcoin was tanking. Last 24 hours, up almost 20%. And then even in the last hour up 0.5 percent. However, there's the concept about rotation. So perhaps some of the profits from Avalanche, hey, Avalanche is great, I'm seeing the, the comments, etc. But maybe some of that uh, rotation can come, o can come over to the Phantom side. And then if Phantom's doing really well, what do you think is going to happen to the ecosystems happening on it? So that's what got my attention. So there's a lot of good things happening, uh, but let's go over that proposal. I've been talking so much about it. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Yeah, so I'm going to be posting this up maybe in their Discord. I'm going to be posting on my Twitter, comment in the YouTube comments. I, I, let's all hear ideas. Let's get this going. Because, hey, I got a platform, and as opposed to just writing a huge novel, if I can do a video, show my face, and talk about it, I think that's the way to go. So, got the Venn diagram. If we can capture all three benefits, like sections, can call it, this is Sparta. <laughs> right? I think that's cool. Again, let's let's not implement anything that's copyright or even close to it, but again, I, I think that's kind of cool with that concept. So phantom themes, right? Phantom, kind of like, ooh, phantom of the opera, that type of deal. You got your spooky swap, spirit swap, etc. Can Spartacus do something related to like the ghost spooky Halloween theme? And I got thinking, I'm like, what about Kratos from God of War, right? Isn't he like, he died and he made a deal with the gods, the war gods, and then came back. He's kind of like the ghost of Sparta. Maybe we could do something with that. Yeah, so like Kratos, some, again, let's not do copyright infringement, but something of that nature where maybe it's like you got a warrior and maybe he's undead, and in order to keep going, he's got to have uh, certain tokens related to that. So, um, but by doing so, by having like this kind of ghost school type of figure, think about the partnerships that will happen on the Phantom side, right? Is how easy would it then be to say with existing projects and upcoming projects say, uh, yeah, guess what? We got Spirit Swap. So Kronos or Kratos is going over to Spirit Swap. They're working together with uh, Soli, I think is the name. Uh, could go to Spooky Swap. Work with the cat. You know, uh, Grim Finance. So with this token of Spoils of War, you reap what you sow. Reaper Farm. Come on, tell me that's not clever. Tell me that is not clever. You reap 
what you sow, and sow would be the spoils of war, short for that, so that could be the stable coin. Yeah, okay, you can tell I'm getting a little hyped here. I'm getting a little like, mm -hmm. all right, cool. So that is why I think that's really important because the Phantom community is also big as well. They are big. You come along, Spartacus, people aren't going to really relate. Something's going to feel off. You integrate that well with the Phantom community, like right? because right, you see on the Avalanche, everything's kind of like snow, winter related. Flip that, Spartacus doing something on the Phantom side, that theme, you're going to get, you're, you're going to, fit in and the OGs are going to really pick up on that like it easy partnerships make sense I think that's a no-brainer what are your guys' thoughts okay so on the ohm side with the treasuries and different stuff if you can take on uh, tokens that de uh, deal with the DeFi 2.0 I'm talking about nice which is your staked form of ice uh, s spell uh, your app memo um, you can do even other ohm forks I don't know these are just some ideas but if you can get like nice and s spell in there Dude, that would be awesome. Okay, so let's talk about like little naming things and how to have fun with this, okay? So stablecoin, maybe we could label it so. So again, with the Reaper Farm, you reap what you sow, etc. Kind of cool, right? And it's called Spoils of War. So that's an acronym. Maybe tie it to the $1 or whatever it may be. Okay, so on the Abracadabra side, they also have Spell, which is the governance token. Maybe in the Twio's mentioning about Charm. Could we switch that over to maybe be Victor? You know, because, hey, uh, the Spoil or what was it? Hail to the victor, you know, fit the some sort of phrase where the victor reaps the, the benefits, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm spazzing a little here, but you get the idea. Maybe Kratos, maybe have that governance tokens be like Kratos, you know, and then you, you get like a lot of the extra fees from it you're collecting as you go along, some sort of like war, warrior style. And then, similar to how on, okay, let's take a look over here. Yeah, so they have the idea where you borrow, then there's liquidation prices and stuff. So you got your little wizard right here. Yeah, he's got a little health bar. Boo, and then you have to keep up his health a certain amount, or otherwise you know, he dies or you know gets liquidated. Well, could we do the theme of you got the ghost warrior, and in order to continue, uh, he has to keep on fighting. He has to keep on getting like the spoils of war in order to uh, keep on going. And if it drops below a certain amount, hey, he gets liquidated, he gone. And then with the cauldron, so you can come over again to Abracadabra Money and you got your cauldron here and, and deposit and you can get some balances. What if we call this the arm armory? You know what I'm saying? So then you can then come here to borrow leverage and it's the concept with supplies and weapons. So if you get some artwork on the Phantom side, get it in with the theme. I think this is a game changer. Okay, because you look at Abracadabra Money and you see it's like the Frog Nation, all that good stuff. When I think of Ohm Forks, there's some good memes and stuff, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of you know, a lot of Ohm Forks, I'm not bashing on anything, but I'm just looking how to make it even better. And look at that artwork. It doesn't even have to be special, but it's a theme. You know, it's kind of fun to look at. Like, oh, okay, this isn't just like another cookie cutter copy paste. This is, all right, there's some art. You can go over here, where, where is it? A uh, farm, and then, here, if I click here, it's probably like, yeah, you got your little dude collecting coins, the potion, the health, fighting the dragons. So, all right, that's everything that I got for you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's tweak it, make it better. But uh, I think that could be something that really helps it stand out because you're bringing utility to the Phantom ecosystem side. You can integrate well with partnerships and, and really bring on the community, get that visual aspect in, differentiate yourself and also do a lot different options when it comes in development and utility with, let's say, taking, uh, what is it, NICE. I know you're already playing on Rat Memo, so that would be some cool stuff. Now, clarification, you know, look at the details as to what they're actually planning on doing. I don't want people saying, like, dude, I got on this project because you said, like, NICE, I thought that was going to happen. Like, take a look, double check, do your research, not financial advice, but I'm excited. All right, see you guys. Peace.